he has the time and most of my kids break time food i normally use tuna fish which we called tom fish to prepare them because i love it and um, i think it's good it's not that i don't like to use other fish but i prefer using tom fish keep watching When it comes to baking and uh, frying, depends on what I want to fry that goes with baking. I love it. It's one of my hobbies. And uh, for my kids, I love to do break time food for them. It's very healthy. Yeah. So, and it, it doesn't take time. Just keep watching, you will definitely love this recipe, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh. So, I'm the type of woman I hate wasting remaining things I know that is very useful. For example, like you see what I just put in there, that was the remaining corn flour I used to do the other corn dogs. Yeah, recipe I did for my kids. So, I decided to use it to do something else which I don't know I was a kind of let me just go inside the kitchen and do something that is Mary and Dickie I always like to try a kind of being creative kind of I just visualize it and I'm going for it and that is Mary and Dickie for you keep watching Just make sure that the dough is not so soft, it's not so hard, just at the middle point of it, then go ahead and uh, roll it in a way that it will be easy for you to cut before going in for the next step. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you know that? At this point I was a kind of mm, how do I do it okay let me just press it with my hands and form something like round and put the tuna fish inside mm -hmm. <laughs> because I know that definitely is going to form something good that is eatable okay mm -hmm. I ended up doing it this way Mm -hmm. as you're doing it just make sure that you don't overdo it so that the tom fish will not be seen like I'm doing this one make sure that you close it like I do before rolling it cut it very well watch how I'm doing it here Mm -hmm. before cutting it it is well closed keep watching so sweetie before frying it make sure that your oil is hot but 
fry on low heat, not on a high heat. So the tonic fish bones to be well fried. The inside should be done, not stickable. This is the best way for you to know that it is done, like I'm showing you here. Go ahead and touch it. Make sure that the stick goes inside, pull it out, and then if it is not stickable, you don't see anything that is coming, then know that it is done. Here comes our tuna fish buns. Oh, just take a look at the color. So browny, and I'll not lie to you guys, this is very tasteful, yummy, and also crunchy. Take a look at the inside, how it looks. Ah, oh, so yummy, guys. Don't forget that subscription here on this channel is free and look at the time. Yeah, I'm done. Bye.